Guys, we are reaching the end of season 8. A few days left, many of you are wondering if it is a good idea to buy the season pass. It depends on the level you have reached. Here, at the right you can see all the rewards per level. The link to this Excel as always can be found below, in the description of this video. You can find it, see the calculations, and decide what to do about the season pass. We are interested in the locked rewards, not the free rewards. The free you have already received until the level you have reached. Here are just the locked rewards, not the free. But before we start, please remember to subscribe to my channel and like this video. It is so helpful for me. And whatever you want to ask, you can write below a comment and I will do my best to answer. Please, please, please subscribe. Thank you very much. Let's start. Here is the list with the locked miners and the locked RST we get. But before we start, I'd like to explain my point of view, my strategy, and how I am thinking whenever I have to spend RLT. Maybe this is helpful to you. Whenever you have to spend RLT for any reason, like an offer, a sale, a craft, a merge, etc., you have to calculate the final cost of this action and compare it with the best possible miner you can buy at the marketplace with this amount of RLT. Lately, at the marketplace there are great prices, because there are a lot of mini events and many of the players get many miners and they sell them, or they merge them and then they sell them. Also there are many sales every week from the game and craft offers, so many miners appear in the game every day. Most of the time, when I do this comparison, the result is that it is not worth it to do this action. It is better to buy a miner from the marketplace. For every sale, craft, merge I do the math, and with the potential final cost, I find something better at the marketplace to buy. But the season pass is not such a simple calculation, because it depends on the level you have reached at the end of the season. Let's see the list with the locked miners you couldn't get without the pass. The first column is the level, the second column is the power of the miner in TH. All of them have a 0% bonus. At the price column you can see how much each miner costs now at the marketplace. Here you can see the subtotal. I use the subtotals very much in my Excel so let me explain what it is, so you understand every time you see it in the future. At any row you look, this number is the summary, from the beginning until this row. For example if you are at the level 45, you have reached a level after 45 and less than 50, then you get the miners from the beginning until the 45th. So you get 50.9 RLT if you sell the miners at the marketplace. And the power would be around 1000 TH. That is 1 PH. So, you look at what level are you and you see what you can get. In addition you get the locked RST. In the first column is the level, at the second are the RST reward of this level, and next are the subtotals. For example if you are at the 42 level you will get 2400 RST. If you buy cases, you get 60 cases, because each case costs 40 RST. How many parts do you get from each case? Minimum 175, but sometimes you may get more, so on average I use 182 parts per case for the calculations. As a result we find that you will have 10,920 parts. And if you sell them now in the marketplace, with the price today at 0.0014, you get around to 15 RLT. Maybe a little bit more or less. So, for the example we started earlier, you would be at the 45 level so you get 50 from the miners and 15 from the parts, totally 65 RLT. The pass costs 100 RLT. So, it does not with it. If you think to not sell them, then you have to calculate the power you get, and compare it with the miners on sale in the marketplace. For the example we are discussing, for sure we find something better at the marketplace. Most probably it does not worth it, 
finally there is a slight possibility that you may take profit from buying the pass even from lower levels that is when you merge all the miners but it is complicated it is very different for each one of you it depends how many parts you already have plus the events parts if you have kept the miners etc so calculate the merged miners power and bonus and the total merge cost then again search at the marketplace if there is something better in the marketplace use the tables here and do any calculation you need as we are discussing now it appears that if you are below the 40th level it is not worth buying the pass in any case above the 40th level maybe yes maybe no if you are close to the end maybe yes but even if you are at the last level the 60th you may find with 100 rlt in the marketplace a similar miner but watch out maybe a miner from the marketplace has a little bit less power but it will have a bonus like three percent or five percent i advise to prefer the bonus because as you get more miners in the future the bonus will add more and more power to your total bonus helps you exponentially if you are confused if you have any questions write below in the comments and i will answer but hurry up in three days the season ends the season ends on sunday and on monday the new season starts with a new mini event the next season will most probably be like the present season for months sixty levels maybe batteries will be added to the rewards but we will see please please do not forget to subscribe it is so important for me i have to raise the subscribers if you have any other account please subscribe with this too another way to help me continue making these videos is to let the videos play regularly till the end just open the videos and let them play again even if you have already seen it preferably the latest videos it helps so much with the YouTube algorithm.